Well, I think like all alcoholics, I knew at a young age. Uh, I think I, I knew something was wrong with me probably the first time I ever had a drink. Um, I can't remember how old I was. I was young. I snuck into my uh, grandparents' uh, refrigerator. I was probably 11 years old, 12 years old, and wanted to see what a beer tasted like. And I ended up drinking three or four and passing out. And I can remember then waking up, even as a young kid there, uh, you know, like, there's something's not right with this. But I think, you know, when you are, when you have the gene and, you know, you, you have that issue, the minute you put alcohol in your body, you're in trouble uh, because that, that triggers the addiction. As a head coach, that's where I really used it as a crutch. As a player, it definitely affected, you know, I was able to become an All-American, but I, I really think I could have played in the NBA if I wasn't battling that. And, you know, I can remember playing most of my games hungover, you know, and, and, and drinking so much the night before. And uh, uh, another great story, ironically, I'm the head coach at LMU. And the Inglewood High School coach, who I knew, Pat Roy, who coached Paul Pierce, asked me to come speak at his sports banquet. And so I, I said, yeah, sure. I came to speak, and there was an older gentleman there that came up to me and said, hey, you don't remember me, but I was the assistant coach on Mario Ellie's team at American International College. We played you in the NCAA Division II uh, Final Eight to go to the Final Four. And we, he said, I remember you the night before the game. You were at the hotel bar. And I was there and all our boosters were buying you drinks, trying to get you drunk. And you kept accepting the drinks. I said, yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. And I said, in my mind, I was gonna get drunk and prove to you that it didn't matter and we could beat you. And, you know, so, it, but at the time, you know, when, if you're an alcoholic, you have a tolerance. So I didn't go crazy that night. I probably had 10 drinks, if that doesn't sound crazy. <laughs> that was a mild night for me. And I'm looking over there, cheering them. Yeah, okay, I'm still gonna whoop your butt tomorrow. And as it turned out, we did. We beat them, and I was, you know, the MVP of the game. I made eight free throws down the stretch. Uh, we went on to lose to Manute Bowl uh, the next game. But what no one knows is the night before the Bridgeport game as well, I lost control and I drank because I thought I was invincible and I was a, an alcoholic. And we ended up losing to Manute Bowl to go to the Final Four, and, uh, and a, a big part of it, I take the blame for it, I was hungover.